and welcome back to the Learn to Code podcast. Today is going to be a little bit short, I guess. Um, an update on a couple of uh, subjects for my personal life are going to be one. Um, I am currently working on as a WordPress uh, website developer. I am working on a project here right now, and I'm going to be streaming that later today. Um, another thing is that uh, I'm going to be streaming on Mixer. I didn't know Mixer existed until um, the Ninja News announcement that he was going to be uh, streaming on Mixer and all the drama that, that came after that. That was very fun, actually, uh, to watch. Uh, the Twitch staff team didn't take it very well. They, in in a matter of minutes, they removed Ninja's uh, partnership with them, with Twitch. <laughs> and right after that, uh, we got the entire um, streaming porn on Twitch in in Ninja's channel. So he was very mad uh, with reason, obviously. <laughs> and I don't know that. Uh, Twitch staff, it seems to be very uh, unqualified uh, for the job. So that's all I'm going to say. And, uh, I don't know, dude. Uh, they don't seem to be knowing what to do right now. So, yeah. And I guess that it's just a matter of time before everybody else just realized that Twitch is basically a platform for TT streamers. So, yeah. What else? Um I'm going to be streaming on Mixer now. Uh, they actually do have access to uh, to to uh, to a higher to a higher bit rate uh, transmission setup, so you can actually show more bit rate um, on the stream itself. It's uh, it's around six thousand uh, bit rate on Twitch, and it's around ten. Uh, it's 10,000 bit rate on on Mixer, so yeah, that's about it. And uh, I've been uh, looking for jobs and looking for opportunities for my career lately. Uh, I was terminated uh, last month, and I am struggling to find money uh, or find a new job, uh, but I think I'm going to be okay. Uh, there seems to be... Uh, there are opportunities out there yet, as with any other career job. Uh, there is always jobs, that's not the problem. Uh, Well-paid jobs, that's not so common to find. So obviously, there are a lot of companies out there that are willing to pay um, very little for a lot of job to do. Uh, and that's not what I'm looking for because most of the time those companies uh, well, they don't survive too mo too too long actually, or uh, I don't know, who knows? Uh, that's not a place where I want to go or talk about. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to be streaming on Mixer. I'm going to be streaming the podcast episodes. Uh, I I'm trying to stream uh, video games, although uh, I have no experience on that and. I my first I guess that my first mistake or uh thing I have to fix on myself d during the stream is the fact that um I I am so focused on the game and doing the game that I'm pretty much silent on the streams and I I am going to change that actually I'm going to be talking more um I forget that I'm doing a show not just gaming actually so I guess uh, that's one tip of a, uh, that's a little tip that I learned on YouTube. And speaking of which, I'm going to be uh, creating videos on YouTube. I was um, thinking about um, uh, making video tutorials for Java because that's what I'm learning right now. And uh, I recently uh, resubscribed to Pluralsight. So I'm re-watching uh, many of the Java courses there. And it, it's, it's, uh, by far is the best place uh, that I could find. Uh, I did find a nano degree program on Udemy, I think it's called. Uh, 
$4,000 for four months seems to be a little bit expensive for myself. Um, my plan is going to be uh, to basically get the money first, but before that, I'm going to uh, run through all the courses about Java and Spring that I can find on Pluralsight at the moment and practice with that and get my, uh, get my time working on that. Uh, and I'm going to be working on those courses, making my own exercises. And I do have a, pro a personal project to build using Java. Um, the first project that I'm going to be building on Java is going to be uh, an XML um, parsing program. It's basically, uh, well, that's the technical, that's the technical name, I guess. Uh, the truth is that here in Mexico, we do have an IRS uh, uh, institute similar to the IRS in in America. Uh, it, it has a different name here. It's called the SAT, the S-A-T. Um, it's a federal government um, institution, and it's dedicated for taxes, you know, all, all re related to taxes, to income tax, and how to get taxes from people. So uh, at the end of this year, on December 2019, uh, the SAT is going to be requiring uh, all the accounting information on XML files uh, for all your, basically uh, they are going to require you to get all your accounting books on XML files and deliver that inside a seed file format. So that's actually perfect for me in the sense that that's the project. Uh, my idea is to create uh, a Java program that will allow me or any user to connect to a accounting database, so gather information and build these uh, XML uh, files and compress them inside a SID file system. And that's basically it. So my plan with this project is going to be basically, well, first, I need to learn the technical fundamentals of, of accounting. And I've been working with accounting programs before. Uh, I know a stranger to accounting. So basically, I'm not from zero, yet I'm not an accountant. So uh, the objective of my software is going to be to basic, basically comply with the law comply with all the technical requirements and present the accounting information um, in the way that the government expects me to deliver it. So basically, I'm going to uh, design uh, my own accounting database. Uh, I'm going to fill that database with uh, testing, um, with accounts, uh, with invoices, uh, everything is going to be fictional, of course. Uh, I'm going to be testing with this uh, basic, the minimal database that I need for an accounting software. So basically, uh, if I find uh, an, another company, a real one, uh, and they allow me to, and if I'm working for them, and they allow me to get um, access to the database for that company, they are going to have their uh, their accounting information. So I would rather connect to that database, create my database views, um, and use those views to connect to my Java program. And my Java program will gather the information from the database and basically build these XML uh, files and compress them inside a SID file format. And that's basically, that's going to be my 2019 Java project. And I'm going to be uh, making exercises and practicing um, with academic examples and academic exercises unrelated to the main project that I just told, uh, told you about. Uh, and the reason for that is because I really need to develop the, sk the, the skills of uh, uh, the, the fundamental skills needed to become a Java developer. 
So the best way to do that is uh, trying things out on net samples and net sizes. And when I get the hang of that, I will implement what I learned on the main project. In this case, the accounting software that I'm going to build. So uh, it's going to be a command line uh, program at the moment because the classes that I'm going to build in Java are going to be used uh, maybe in the future for a Spring app, maybe. Uh, I don't know at this point, at this moment, I ignore completely how a Spring actually works. So I just don't know how to build that at the moment, but that's the beauty of software development. I just learn what I need to build. Uh, I just learn uh, whatever skill I need and internet is a very good place for learning. So that's basically the plan. I'm going to be working on that. And streaming on Mixer, my episodes. Uh, I'm planning to make these episodes on the morning and stream on the morning. Um, that's another tip that I found out on YouTube about uh, building your streaming channel. It's basically uh, create a, a streaming schedule and comply with it so don't miss uh, a date and a time and uh, with my podcast i've been very um, uh, inconsistent with it uh, whenever i find time or i feel like it i record an episode um, with this i'm going to require to use my self-discipline because i'm going to basically be making a contract with my audience and i need if i create a, a I stream in a schedule, or may I say, when I create it, uh, now I do have the commitment to deliver at that day and that time. So, thankfully, um, the the Mixer uh, Creator app um, allows me to stream directly from my phone. So just in case I don't have access to my uh, streaming gear here on my home, or maybe I am on the street and the time of the street just comes, if I manage to find myself into uh, a little quiet place outside my home, uh, like a, a, a bathroom would be a really bad idea for the audio, but never mind that. Uh, maybe on the street, uh, equally awful for the audio, I guess. Uh, but the, yet the idea is to basically um, deliver in a more consistent manner and uh, start missing my audience because just uh, I'm just inactive. So um, I am still looking for a job, a well-paid job. Uh, I am surviving with freelancing jobs here and there. Uh, but bills need to be paid. And thankfully, I'm not touching my savings yet. <laughs> uh, I've, been, uh, I've been able to get income. Um, uh, most of the income I'm getting is from websites because uh, Java development is not really the kind of job that you find on Fiverr. So, but never mind that. Um, and now let's talk about YouTube a little bit. So my plan for the YouTube channel, after I um, try to to create content for YouTube and my podcast at the same time, I was basically doing what I do right now. Um, uh, record myself with a webcam and talk into the microphone uh, in another scripted manner and, that, and call it a day. Um, I guess that that's going to continue because I can uh, create the podcast and there is nothing uh, stopping me from just recording myself and upload a video version of the podcast to YouTube. Yet, that cannot be all I do on YouTube. So, I do have a couple of ideas for YouTube. The, the uh, like three ideas maybe. Um, the first idea I, I do have is that I do use Twitter. So I was thinking about creating sh very, very short videos around one or two minutes uh, to like these micro tutorials of one or two minutes. 
to explain something about Java. For example, maybe variables, uh, maybe how to create an interface, or maybe more basic things like um, types or, or classes or, cl or types that come from classes. So, f or maybe primitive types and why something, some things actually happen, um, the for each loop and how uh, the for each loop uh, only helps you to read content from an array, uh, yet uh, it doesn't allow you to modify that value so easily. So, things like that, um, very small, very easy to di digest. I will record that, upload it to YouTube inside a, a playlist, and then publish that into Twitter. Basically, uh, a really short video on Twitter about that, and basically call it a day. So another thing I would like to do on YouTube is um, in a more, uh, in a similar uh, way as in Pluralsight, to create playlists dedicated for longer tutorials about how to work with Java and how to work with tools uh, or even operated system like Linux. So, and the Linux distribution, obviously. Uh, and why do people choose Linux for software development sometimes? Because uh, although there is uh, every, every tool you need is already on Windows too, uh, most of the time, if you are building something on the cloud for the cl for the cloud or for a network because or for a database or something like that most of the time you're going to be dealing with um, uh, Linux file systems or Linux systems anyway so it's always a really good idea to get the hang of using Linux just for that and most of the time Linux distributions do achieve um, a better performance uh, uh, when you are running programs on them. Uh, for example, the virtual machine on Linux, if you are using the open uh, source version of the Java virtual machine, uh, you may actually find out that it's a little bit faster and a little bit, um, uh, it manages uh, resources quite better than the official Oracle one. So I may uh, I may I don't really have the numbers right now, but I do uh, notice. Uh, I don't know if stats for the virtual machine itself, or the operated system itself, or the amount of resources being expended by something else at the time. Uh, yet I been uh, uh, I have detected that when I uh, connect to a database with a very large data set, and I do my thing on Java with that data set, um, I see that running the same program uh, tends to last um, uh, hours uh, longer on, on Windows uh, than on Linux on, my, on the same machine. So I, I don't really know why is that. I wonder if uh, is that because of Linux itself or the virtual machine itself, or because I'm using the Open JDK on Linux and the Oracle JDK on on Windows. I I don't really know, but that's basically the fact. And I did notice uh, because I did the same process uh, twice just to see if there is a difference between uh, uh, in performance. And basically, what's a difference of uh, two or three hours, I don't remember. And that's quite a long time, actually. So, so uh, the second idea is to basically create this playlist on YouTube a little bit longer around from five to 10 minutes, m maybe tops, or probably from from three minutes to five minutes or seven minutes stops. I don't want to reach the dual digit uh, uh, video there because uh, when you are trying to teach something, the longer you take, it's going, the harder it's going to be to actually learn something from that video. So I'm going to be scripting all those videos for the same reason. I see that uh, just rambling about something out of my head it's going to require way too much time. And uh, something else is, and the last idea for my YouTube channel uh, is going to be actually uh, asking questions on video. 
And it happens to me a lot that when I work in on Java, uh, I do find uh, some mechanic, something happens that I don't really understand. Uh, or I see a method that I don't know what it does. And I try to play with it and see what type is returning and the name, what it implies, what does the name imply. Um, I read some documentation and I feel like that's an experience that I may like to share on YouTube. Uh, that will be a little bit uh, unscripted, obviously. And I don't know, uh, there are a lot of things that I may like to talk about uh, Java programming there. Uh, oh, and before I forget, uh, I do have my sessions with my wife about uh, learning uh, about coding HTML at the moment. Uh, I haven't done those because we are really facing this uh, economic distress time. So uh, I'm not uh, continuing with that until my economic income uh, gets back on track. Uh, but I think I'm going to be just fine. I don't know why. I um, I haven't got uh, any calls yet. Uh, yet I haven't moved too much actually. So I'm not aggressively looking for a job right now. I haven't even updated my LinkedIn profile to uh, to a proper LinkedIn profile for someone looking for a job. So uh, I need to do a lot of work there. But so far so good. I feel really great. Um, I've been playing video games. I've been learning a lot about Java. I've been learning a lot about uh, other technologies and frameworks, uh, web development frameworks. And I, uh, I'm feeling like I am really interested in the back end uh, of the web development side because that's I, I feel like that's the place where I actually belong on this stack. Um, creating the front end is really fun and it's really entertaining. Uh, the truth is that I feel more attracted to the back end for the reason that that's where all the information comes from and all, all the processing power is actually hosted on the server. And I don't know, I, I feel like that's my place at the moment. Uh, I think that's all I have to say for today. So thank you, thank you for coming in. And you can find me on Mixer as Jorge Escobar, just like in Twitter, Jorge Escobar. And thank you for coming into the Learn to Code podcast. Goodbye.